Uh, Mr. Markopoulos, uh, thank you. Uh, reading your testimony and having talked to you last month and to the staff, you called the SEC, you wrote the SEC, you pled with them, you badgered them, you, there's four pages of contacts with them, I mean, probably uh, over a hundred uh, attempts on your behalf to lay out a case. Uh, you had extended telephone conversations, extended meetings with them, and you laid out chapter and verse. You know, handed them on a silver platter a case. Uh, was it incompetence? I mean, I'm amazed that they could have no ignored what you gave them. Uh, was it incompetence? Was it a conflict of interest? Uh, was it just a lack of willingness to take Madoff phone? I think it was a combination of incompetence and an unwillingness to take on a major player like Mr. Madoff. Uh, they fear the big cases. Uh, the, ch the chairman has talked about more funding, more investigators, but uh, you know, that doesn't seem to be the case here. I mean, it seems like they're not using the resources they have. Have you got any ideas on that? And there were all kind of regulations. You laid out regulations, laws. I mean, there were all sorts of, uh, of uh, violations. Uh, there were turf battles. Um, you had regional rivalries between New York and Boston. And by the way, neither New York or Boston likes Washington very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so dumping more money on that well, doesn't solve those problems, does it? It, it doesn't solve the problems. Uh, they do need some more funding, though. They need a lot more funding in, in certain areas. Uh, they need to increase the compensation levels so they can attract industry experienced veterans mm -hmm. on the team level. Because now the teams that, that are, is, they've already been authorized to do that, I believe. Uh, they need to add incentive compensation, just like Wall Street. It's okay. base salary plus incentive. For what you bring in, so you're incentivized to bring. In other words, cases. if you catch people, if your job's to yep. catch people, you catch them. Yes. You're rewarded if you don't. You're not. Right. And what I like about that is that you, if someone tries to stop you from bringing a big case, and you're incentivized to bring a big case, you'll run over them with a bulldozer if you have to to get that big case in the door. And right now, there's no incentive, no reward for bringing those big cases in the door. So it's not just throwing more money at it, it's doing it the right, smart way, and incentives are, are a way to do that. How do you address those turf fights? How do you, and how do you address sort of the sacred cows out there that they just won't take on? I think that if you're Boston referring a case to New York, you get incentive credit for that as part of the bonus scheme for turning in a case uh, to another region. You need to increase co cooperation that way. Thank you. What would you ask us to do? What, what could we do differently? As Congress? Yes. And, and I will tell you this, that you've heard the so-called uh, pay for play in municipal bonds. Yes. Well, actually, 10 years ago, we laid out a case to the SEC on what was going on. Again, two years ago, we laid out a case exactly what was going on in Jefferson County. They did nothing for a year. Finally, someone, a whistleblower, someone came forward on something else and was called. So, I mean, your experience, you know, uh, is very similar experience as some of us on the Hill have had. Congressman, I know what happened in Birmingham, Alabama, and it happened in my hometown of Erie, Pennsylvania, the same thing with the municipal securities fraud. It happened in Massachusetts as well. The Massachusetts Turnpike Authority lost $450 million on some over-the-counter Swaptions that they never understood, that they were deceived into entering in a transaction with several Wall Street investment banks. And the SEC has been nowhere to be found regulating there, enforcing action for the crimes that occurred. As a result, Massachusetts plans on doubling our tolls. Right. So we're going to pay for that out of our own pockets. Right. And, uh, you know, that happened under the Clinton administration. It happened under the Bush administration. It was, uh, my letter was actually to the, to the Clinton administration. But... Um, I'd like to, with permission of the committee, with uh, unanimous consent, to introduce my letter to the SEC, similar experience that you had. Now, the difference is I was relying on other people. I actually had trusted them or, or relied on them to look at the information and tell me whether it was true or false. And uh, they told me there wasn't anything to it, basically.
I think what you'll see is that the, the SEC is busy protecting the, the big financial predators from investors, and that's their modus operandi right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate that. And I, I, I want to again just tell you how uh, truly grateful we are to you. Uh, unfortunately, if, if your warnings had been taken, and if the warnings of other people had been taken 10 and 12 years ago, uh, there'd be a, a, literally millions of Americans that uh, wouldn't be suffering today from losing their entire uh, uh, retirement. So thank you.